Hello everyone, uh, this is Marna Alini. Here I am going to explain uh, functional grammar that is unit 1 course name is language to literature for second year students. Here we go on to the functional grammar topics. First topic in our functional grammar is kinds of sentence. What is sentence? First of all, we all have to know what is sentence. To express our thoughts, beliefs, ideas or expression, we need some group of words arranged in a specific way that helps us to communicate easily. In English grammar, a sentence is defined as a group of words containing a subject and verb expressing the complete sense of a statement or question. A subject in a sentence provides information about noun and a verb tells about action of the noun. A sentence when written always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or question marks or marks of exclamations. The use of these marks at the end of a sentence depend on type of sentence. In this article, uh, we, we learned about the different types of sentence, their example and how influence the use of marks and end of sentence. Types of sentence. There are four different, different types of sentence which express our actions. First type is declarative sentence the second one is interrogative sentence the third one is exclamatory sentence and the final one is imperative sentence next we are going to see these type kinds of sentence in detail the first kind of sentence is declarative sentence it is also known as statement sentence. Declarative sentence make a statements. They tell us something. They give us information. And they normally end with a full stop or PDF. The usual word, word order for a declarative sentence is subject and verb. That means the subject and verb gives a completion of a sentence. Which, which may be a statement sentence. For example, I like coffee. This is a positive statement. And then, I don't like coffee. This is a negative sentence. Here, each sentence are considered as a statement sentence. Next sentence is, next type of sentence is interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence ask a question. They ask us something. They ends with a question mark. For example, do you like coffee? Don't you like coffee? Do you like coffee is a positive statement and don't you like coffee is a negative statement. And the third type of sentence is imperative sentence. Imperative sentence gives a command to us. For example, stop, shut the door, please close the door. These are comes under. These are a command, command sentence. So, it is called as imperative sentence. Next, final type of sentence is exclamative sentence. Exclamative sentence is nothing but we express when the sudden expression came throughout mouth, this sentence arrived. For example, wow, what a beautiful flower. What a beautiful car. Wow, alas, hooray, shit, you hit my leg. These are all exclamative sentence. Now we are going to question tag here. What is question tag? It creates a question at the end of the sentence. Uh, the basic rule for question tag is the positive statement has a negative question tag and the negative statement has a positive question tag. Here are some examples. The moon goes round the earth. It is a positive statement or negative statement? 
Yes, correct. The moon goes around the earth is a positive statement. Here the question tag comes. Doesn't see? Doesn't it? So, doesn't is, doesn't it is a negative question tag. Here the positive sentence cons, contain a negative question tag. And also the negative sentence contain the positive question tag. Here if we follow the example. Asian people don't like rice. This is, they don't like rice is a negative statement. Here comes the question tag is, do they? A positive question tag. And then the final thing of unit is letter writing. What is letter writing? It is something we are, we are writing through a letter, passing information on to one person to another person. There are two types of letter writing mentioned here. What are they is informal letter and formal letter. Informal letter generally we write in we write informal letter to our friends, relatives, etc. Formal letter we have we are going to write a formal letter to our higher authorities like leave letter, permission letter. These letters are come under formal letter and uh, fr inviting your friend for your birthday party and then inviting him for a marriage these letters are comes from comes under informal letter thank you for watching bye bye